Well, hi, friends, and welcome. Hey, on today's show, we're headed out to Why Not, Nebraska. More correctly, we're headed to the Missouri River just north of Why Not, where it forms the border between Nebraska and South Dakota. Now, by we, I mean Mike Butler and myself, and together we're going to hook up with Marlon Weeblehouse of Weeblehouse Guide Service. And I should say as well that some of you might call this a hunting show, and some of you might call it a fishing trip. Mike and I... Well, we just called it a whole lot of fun in a real short time. Hey, I'm your host, Kyle Randall. This is my Wilderness Journal, and we're headed for the Missouri River to do some bow fishing right now. After a quick stop at the more than comfortable cabin, as Marlon likes to call it, where he puts up his out-of-town hunters and fishermen, Mike and I dropped off our gear. We could see that the turkey and the deer hunting in this part of the woods had to be pretty good, but the truth was, all we really wanted to do was get on the river. You know, when you get to a new place, especially a place like this, all you want to do is start right, fishing. And fortunately, deal? Marlin had right. everything pretty well rigged and was ready right. to go. So after running through the last minute critical checklist of things, you know, like is there a plug in the boat, and do we have extra arrow tips, Marlin backed in his specially modified river boat. And before long, he had us shooting up the river headed for a power dam where he said thousands upon thousands of fish collect this time of year. Now friends, this ain't my first rodeo, and generally speaking, any fish story that starts off with thousands and thousands, yeah, you know, let's just say I'm a bit skeptical of, but to tell you the truth, as soon as Marlin slowed down and we actually got ready, started looking around in the water, there were literally thousands of fish. And then, as if to put an exclamation point on my amazement, Marlin just drew back his bow, flicked an arrow out there, and said nonchalantly, you know, got one. Look at that. That took one shot. I got lucky. <laughs> Marlin no more than got our first fish, a dandy short nosed gar into the box and crawled back up on the deck when he pointed out a dark object swimming in the water and told That's me. That's a buffalo right there. Is that legal to shoot? Oh yeah. Yep. Well, now it was on me, but hey, no pressure, right? Nice shot, Kyle. Nice shot. Fortunately. That one was almost out of out of range. Yeah, he was pretty deep, but you know luck is better than skill. <laughs> nice shot. Hit, hit him in a good spot. Look at that. That's, that's there's a fish, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's a... That's about a 12-pounder right there, Kyle. Go on down, Kyle. Yeah, and, and yeah you have me. to go down and, and we'll just put him right on into the tub if you want. There. A little bit of fish dinner. A little bit. Good one. Yeah. Marlin, in case I forget. Thanks, man. Good job. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> There's one in the box. That's, that's a good start. Right there. Kyle, there's a rag right, right there alongside the box. Thank you, sir. You see, we drove to Nebraska <laughs> to shoot fish with a bow. Because bow season for deer and turkeys only lasts so long. But this way, you can keep shooting, you can eat, keep having fun, and you can keep eating. This is all right. Well, now I'm one for one. I'm going to quit. We'll let Mike try it. What do you say? OK. All right. Yeah. Let's let him give it a go. Mike? He shot once, got one fish. I know, I got a little pressure he on me, don't I? shot once, got one fish, but no pressure. <laughs> All right, no pressure. Nobody, nobody you know is probably going to see this anyway. That's right. We were giving Mike the gears a little bit, but hey, he was a camera guy. That's what we brung him for. Truth was, folks, there was no pressure. Not on a trip like this. There were so many fish. It didn't matter whether you hit the first one, the tenth one, the hundredth one. You could always count on another chance swimming right at you in just a couple of seconds. In most cases, you couldn't get your arrow reeled up fast enough to get it on the string before another shooting opportunity showed up. That was what was so amazing about this place. Got to pull the lever on the other side of the jug. 
Huh. Huh. Um, Mike? Wolf for one. Oh, uh, Mike? <laughs> In the words of my son-in-law, Nick, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Trying to look at me. What happened, man? Yeah, oh for one. Yeah, oh, well. Mike, that buffalo you missed, that was probably the biggest buffalo i ever seen in my life. Really? And you only been doing this how long? All my life. Yeah. <laughs> that was an absolute monster. monster. Nice shot, Mike. Yeah, you saved the pressure for the, for the camera. Maybe. It was a good try. There's there a big old one right there. Right. Lower, 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 lower. You got there it. There he is. Right in the head. Good man. <laughs> nice shot, Mikey. <laughs> the fight ain't over, is it? Oh, no. That's a big old good one, too. Look at the size of that. <laughs> oh, slow down. He ain't going nowhere. Get a stick in him. Look at that. Here we go. <laughs> Only for what? Four? One for four? Hey, like that, that. there'll be a lot more of those <laughs> misses before this day's over. That's right. Nice shot, partner. Thank you. Now, you know what? I don't have to feel guilty. You can go back to work. And, you know, Marlon and I can get back to fishing. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, nice shot, Mike. Four. One out of four, 25%. Hey. That ain't bad. Not bad. Batting 250? <laughs> you probably play for the Tigers. <laughs> we did get back to fishing, but it wasn't Marlon and myself. I reason, you know, Mike could use a tad more practice. And seeing as how Marlon had a place coming up, he said was perfect for that. Well, let's go over there on the corner and check out that big pile of fish. Yeah, that whole, all that dark is fish, right? Yep. That's amazing. Thousands of them in there. Mike, that I got the solution, buddy. Just <laughs> flock shoot them, right? <laughs> we could have anchored the boat right there and shot all day long. The water was black with fish. You could have shot till your fingers fell off, and I don't know if it made any difference. I hope it's just went about six inches of water. There were some fish, like this prehistoric paddlefish, that we couldn't shoot. There's a season on them, but it wouldn't be open for another couple of weeks still. It was neat to see a fish swimming around that it was actually just exactly like this during the time of the dinosaurs. So remember, if you do have your heart set on taking a paddlefish, Marlin does that as well. But you have to wait and schedule your trip a little later, you know, after the middle of July. Right at his tail. He's turning. Got him. Now that's a big head carp, it's yeah. just a little guy, but it's a big head. And fortunately for Mike, that battlefish was, like I said, one of, you know, thousands, so it wasn't long before. Yeah, right through him, this yeah. you, know, you know what, Mike, that, that's not a big head, that's one of those silver carp. Those, those are the ones that jump out of the water and fly Oh, yeah, fly ones that you need a hockey mask for. Yep. That's a good shot, bud. While Mike was taking care of his fish, Marlin was shooting. I just grazed the back. Yeah. That's kind of a tough going away, going down. You're asking a lot, even for you. <laughs> still, it's, it's still, he was, he was there. That was a shot. That was a big hit. That was a good one. Big one. It looked like it could have been. It's pretty deep, but still. I was shooting. There were so many fish swimming around. We just kept at it. And yeah, we occasionally oh, missed. Mostly. It's right here, well, buddy. you understand. <laughs> that makes me feel better. Yeah. Well, I hope you didn't do that on purpose, you know, just uh you know, make no. it feel a little better. It uh just uh you know part of the deal. <laughs> I I couldn't miss that good on purpose. Yes, for the more perceptive of you in the viewing audience, you're right. Marlin and I did occasionally, just to make Mike feel better, miss a shot or two. Yeah, truthfully, there were so many great chances on this trip, it really didn't matter how many times you missed. Before you could actually retrieve your arrow and get it knocked, there was another one swimming right at you. That big head right there. And with it being Marlin's turn again, another one swimming right at us, and pretty quick turned into another one in the boat. Even in this murky water, there were so many fish, like I said, and some of these fish were truly huge. It really was never more than five or ten minutes before somebody was dragging in another dandy fish.
Now, I can't tell you that we got them all in the boat. There was, like with any other fish story, you know, the one that got away occasionally. <laughs> Still, we had so many chances, so many shots, so many fish. That dark spot. Yep, that dark spot. Take him. That one. That one right there. Shoot him coming head on. That's right. He already had a mark. He does have a mark on him, like a lamprey scar or something. Back over there. I'll get him in. That's all right. I'll get him. Go ahead. Come here, big boy. Nice river bubble there, Kyle. I'll tell you what. You give me a big enough fish to shoot at, and I'll hit one once in a while. <laughs> With that fish, Marlin decided maybe it was time to move a little bit. Time to move? Yep. We're gonna no go fish left them. back there. We ran out, right? Well, we shot them all. Yep. Uh, nice, Mike. Except you, I missed. You, know, you, never, you guys shot them all. You know that little box in kindergarten works well with others? Right. You didn't get that, did you? No, I didn't. No, you don't know how to share it. No. <laughs> how many is in there, Kyle? Two. The first one and the last one. All the rest were practice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, there's probably 12, 15 in there. Oh, is there? Yeah, there's some good fish oh, in there, too. Technically, I guess we did move, but we really didn't go very far. In fact, all Marlin was doing was motoring us back around into the current and then letting us drift back across the fish using the trolling motor a little bit. That's all we had to do. There were so many fish right here in this area, we even let Mike shoot again. And you got him. <laughs> You know, you hit a blind squirrel. Yeah, find an acorn now and again. <laughs> Look at that. Another guy in the boat. Nice shot, buddy. Thank you. Good shooting. Thanks, Marlon. Nice shot, bud. Hey, thank you. <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> that was fun. After that, we really did move down the river a ways, mostly just for a change of scenery. And not long after slowing down out in front of a big sandbar, Marlin pointed out a huge raft of big-headed carp right coming here. our way. way in the back. He picked okay, one on, on the three. left, and I, of course, picked one way one, out on the right two, side. One, two, three. I ran out of strength. <laughs> I got to the fish, and it jerked it back sideways. <laughs> Unfortunately, the one I shot at, well, let's just in. say it was about three foot farther away than the amount of string I had in my little jug there. Still, Marlin got a great fish. The tree shaker. Yeah. yeah. Nice fish, boss. Yeah, you. That is a dandy. About a, about a 16 pounder, I'd say. I don't know how big it is exactly, but it's big. My friends. There was so much action, so many chances. We shot so many fish. We could have completed that trip right there on that first evening and left absolutely satisfied and happy. Still, we did decide to stick around for another day, you know, just in case that was a fluke. And besides, they were having a tremendous fish fry and why not at the restaurant that night that we thoroughly enjoyed. We even got the chance to wish Marlon's mom a happy birthday. Heck, Mike even got a piece of birthday cake. And the very next morning, we were back out on the river with Marlin. And just in case you're wondering, was the fishing still just as good? That next morning, we started right back up by that power dam again. Only this time, I decided, you know, I'm only going to shoot fish in self-defense. That's it. 15-pound buffalo. Right in the head. Nice shot, Kyle. I tell you, it's all self-defense. Even when they're swimming away from you? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> the, the, what they were doing was they were they were starting to encircle us, see? Oh, we were surrounded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're, not You're not quite done. No, sir. And before I could land my fish, Go on, Kyle. I'll shoot it. Sure. You get it? Yep. Got you. Perfect. It's coming down a little bit. <laughs> you better pull them both in yeah. at the same time. Probably so. Kyle got a double. Look at that, Mike. Ugh. Look at that. <laughs> Bow fishing with Marlin Weavals. Ain't no fun at all. <laughs> the you get a little wet. Hold that. The guy gets a little wet, but. <laughs> well, there. That's a pair to draw to, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Yeah, I'm doubled up on that yeah, one. Yeah, on a pair of dandies. Yeah. 
These will be some good eaters I right think here. So. Yeah. I think uh, the fish fry is not in doubt. I'm going to throw mine in the box. And then, uh, and then, and then we decided to move down river. We were going looking for even bigger fish. And just like yesterday, not long after we stopped, got him. Oh, oh baby. There you go. Oh, son. That's the secret. Shoot him in the head. Swing it on over. Yeah. And then maybe come on down, Kyle. That's, that's a good one. Is that what you call making a unicorn there? Yeah. <laughs> What do you think, man? That, sir. That. You got a hold of one end? That's what we come to Nebraska for. Marlon Weevil House, you man. Everything you told me was true. He said, you come up here, and I promise you, you're going to see <laughs> bow fishing like you ain't never seen nowhere in the world. And I get around some. You folks know. <laughs> you know, we go some places. This is a, and this big one's jumping. <laughs> yeah, I, they're, they're jumping, folks. You get a chance, come see Marlon. Now, what's the name? Why not? Why not Nebraska? And you're on the web, right? Y yes. So you can find him on our website or, or get a hold of yep. a Marlon. Don't call Mike because you know he didn't get one of these and he's pouting. But <laughs> yeah. we had a great time. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, what an awesome, bet. awesome. It this I never seen nothing like it. This broad daylight. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Well, I sure hope you can make it back, Kyle. We will be back. Yes. They'll yes. have to post a you know highway patrol at the border to keep us out of here. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, it's a good one. That's Absolutely good one. awesome. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You bet. I'll shake your left hand if you don't. Yeah, I got it. you bet. Thank you, boss. You bet. That was Kyle. great. Good put them in a box? Good shooting. I told you. So look, yeah, it's better than skill. Yeah. yeah, we can get some good back straps out of them. <laughs> yeah, we, we really can. They're, I don't doubt they're, they're good. I don't it's doubt good white meat. Yeah. Folks, don't put that bow away. Come on up here to Nebraska. Give this a try. This is absolutely a hoot. Yeah, non-stop non Friends, it really is just like that. Non-stop action. You can shoot until your fingers bleed and it won't make any difference. There is such a need to reduce the invasive and rough species there on that part of the Missouri River. And bow fishing with Marlin Weevil House, well, that's just a ridiculously fun way of helping out best we could. You know, you can go out there and have such a great time just like we did. If there's anything I regret about this trip, is that I couldn't show you a tenth of what we saw and did and the fun we had. Still, you go out there, and I promise it's going to be just as memorable for you as it was for us. Keep practice. Yeah. That's close. If he starts to start sinking down, right. down, then you have to There shoot. it is. There's your shot. Oh. I'm on it. And you scared it. Put that right there, man. Right here. Oh, yep, that one right out there. Oh, he faced, he, he turned, this thing shot. All right. Oh, yeah, I think that's a gar. Yeah, I believe he's, he's, <laughs> he's heavier. He jumped the string. But the bottom line, the bottom line is the cameraman small. I think the cameraman spoke of is what I think really happened. As always. Thanks, Mike. Hey, you're welcome. Tony, thanks for the bow, man. My buddy Tony set that bow up for me. I already you had one of them big fish tear off one of your arrows. Fish are too big. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah. Summer <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You're in trouble now. I'll rodeo him. There you go, buddy. Damn. <laughs> He's on fire. I think that's a hit. I'm not sure. Well, he rolled right over, too. That's got to be 25 pounds. Yeah. Got it. Oh. Got him. Got him. Nice shot, buddy. Oh, got off. Oh. Oh. I saw him come sideways. Oh, you ain't got no point on it. You ain't got no point on it. Oh, it's right there. It's down there. Ah. What are you doing? He's shooting him with blunts. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Put that car right there. That's actually a good one. I'd say that's a stuck. 
<laughs> Sweetness! Give me a kiss! Well, we'll be back. Mm. What do you think? That one I think he got. Nope. That season isn't open for another couple of months, though, right? No. If you don't think them fish fight, you come out here with Marlin and you try this. Nebraska ain't far. If you're coming from Michigan or, was, you know, we're in Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, you can be here in a day. you got a beautiful place to put people up in. We stayed there last night. He's got a gorgeous place to put the folks up in. You can even do a combination bow fishing and turkey package if you come late season, right? Yeah. This, yep. this is too much fun. I'm here to tell you, if you're missing this, shame on you. <laughs> this is a riot. And, and the cool thing, you know what, is so many guys put their, their stuff away when bow season's over or even turkey season, they don't even think about shooting at stuff like that guy right there. <laughs> you got him. Friends, that is truly the way it was. Non-stop fun from beginning to end. Marlin has such a great opportunity there. You know, I should tell you, he also has some tremendous Miriam's turkey hunting in the spring. And we're talking about maybe a whitetail hunt out there this fall as well. If you're into this, you know, if you're a bow fisherman or woman, if you've never tried it and you'd like to, this is absolutely the place to go and give it a run. You know, we search all over the world looking for those places and people that are just a little above average that actually surpass their advertising. And believe me when I tell you, Marlin Weevilhouse of Weevilhouse Guide Service is one of those people. And why not Nebraska and the Missouri River is definitely one of those places. Hey, thanks again, Marlin, and everyone out at Why Not for treating us just like family. Certainly thanks to Mike Butler, the great camera work you did, buddy, and sharing a great trip. And thanks to you for tuning in again and sharing this adventure with us. We truly hope to see some of you out there flinging an arrow and reeling up a good old biggin'. And if we do, well, you know we're going to stop and share a cup and a fire, maybe a few of your own adventures. And if I don't see you out there, friends, well, I truly hope you meet me right back here for another adventure from my Wilderness Journal. Thanks again, Marlin, and everybody out in Why Not, Nebraska. We had a tremendous time.